Greetings and welcome to the Monday Morning Vodcast Podcast. You're gonna die. Well, I guess we're doing this without any water this morning. That's a real bummer. Hey, how are you guys doing out there? All you Billy Bumblers bumbling around in your lives trying to find purpose and meaning. I'm sure you're doing fine. Um, the other night, Saturday night, my friend, my good friend, Jess Carlosi and I decided that we would finally eat the little nitro. Now, what we decided on in the beginning was that we were not going to swallow because that's where the real pain happens. I don't care about the mouth pain. I don't care about that type of suffering. What I don't appreciate is the tummy troubles afterwards. Um, at this age, my body just does not appreciate it one bit. So what follows in this video is our night. Now, I am preemptively telling you something right now. There is a sequel coming. The ratings on this were so good, and we are in such demand to eat them again, that it looks like possibly Saturday night we might be doing it again. Or at least Jess will be. Here's the thing that happened when I was filming this. See, the way Zoom works is um, when you record a meeting, it records the focus of whoever's talking, which I'm fine with if Jess had her own microphone. The problem is, is they share a microphone. You're saying they, it's Herbie and Jess, my friends, Herbie and Jess. So when Jess talks, Herbie's camera turns on because her voice is going through the microphone connected to her computer. I know these are a lot of details you don't want to hear about. But the problem is I'm faced with a conundrum of trying to edit this thing together without video footage of Jess eating the thing. And that just doesn't seem fair. So it only seems right to me that she should at least eat it again with the microphone on her computer so I can get some good footage of it. Uh, if you guys agree, just mention it in the comments below. Say, you know, hashtag go Jess. Hashtag go Jess if you'd like to see her eat it. Because all you're going to hear in this video is her eating it. As a matter of fact... I don't even know if I'm going to attach it to this, but later today I will start editing down the footage. The problem with recording Zoom meetings is you get a lot of footage. I have about two and a half hours of footage that I have to get through. And I know the areas where we ate the bear because I ran my second camera during those those times. Another thing I'm just I'm letting you know before I release this video is that my microphone was blowing up all over the place. I start I decided to use my SSL to so that I could get Carol and me on separate microphones, especially for when we did the, the eating, the, the bear thing. But unfortunately, um, apparently it was blowing up during the recording. I don't know if it was blowing up for my friends while they were listening or not, but um, yeah, the recording's a little rough. So we might just have a, a full-fledged round two of this thing. I don't really want to go there again. And as a matter of fact, I've already been there twice. Yeah, you'll learn a little bit more about that as soon as I'm done editing the video. I'm not going to attach it to this because if I attach it to this, uh, you're never going to see this. <laughs> so this is today, and I'm saying this is the Monday morning vodcast podcast. But you won't get this until like Wednesday or Thursday if I have to take the time to edit that giant mass of, of filth down. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And yes, it was probably the hottest thing I've ever eaten. But I don't want to spoil too much. I want you guys to enjoy it for yourself. So I'm going to hold off and I will... Um, I'll release that as soon as I can get it done. So what do we do now? Oh, I guess we, uh, I guess we could review some shitty cookies. What do you guys think about that? Let's review some shitty cookies. Yeah. So these are the cheapest cookies I've had on the, uh, on the podcast podcast. These come from the dollar store. That's right. There are 10 packs of what I assume is probably three or four cookies each. For a dollar. The thing that really grabbed me though was they do an orange cream, a vanilla cream with a banana cream, which I fucking love banana. And then they do a vanilla and chocolate, a vanilla and vanilla, and they do a strawberry cream. So these are two flavors, at least three flavors that uh, Oreo has never actually done. So let's bust into these. I cannot begin to imagine that there be any good. I mean, it's a dollar for like, well, let's see. So there's two packages of each one. It appears to be three. So that's six. Six times five is 30. So that's 30 cookies for a dollar. Uh, where do we begin? 
Hmm. I'm going to start with my, my, my favorite. I, I love banana flavored things. And I'm hoping that this banana flavored thing is at least acceptable, if nothing else. Take a look at the cookie. See what you think. It's definitely not meant, I don't think, to be an Oreo. It's just a sandwich cookie, but... Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> wow, there's very little cream in these cookies, but that banana packs a punch, and the cookie itself wasn't that bad either. Mm. Wow. Right. Oh, wait, wait. There are six cookies in each thing. So we got six times five times two. That's 30. So 60 cookies here? I don't know how they, they managed to pack so much flavor into a, a cookie that cost a fraction of a cent to, to produce orange so far i'm very impressed with the quality of these cookies i was gonna shoot them right down and just say no way jose mm. Ooh. Mm. i can smell the orange on that one wow i want to go on with a chocolate cookie though like a mm. remember the mystery flavor not this one that just came out for oreo last year or the year before the one back aways that was my guess was chocolate color covered orange but it turned out to be fruity prebbles fruity prebbles all right, that one wasn't as good, but I mean, the orange was there. It more the smell than anything else. Let's do the strawberry next. We'll do all the flavored ones, see what we think of those. So I would give the banana about uh, 7.5. I'd give the orange about a 6.5. And let's move on to the strawberry. Oh, see, these things pack a pungent odor. Okay, that, that, that wasn't too bad. Probably my least favorite out of all. The strawberry wasn't like super strawberry tasty, I guess, you know, for, for the cost. Oh, that was the vanilla. Did I just eat a vanilla? No. I ate the strawberry, yeah. Because that would be crazy if it tasted like strawberry and it was vanilla. All right. So now we're going to move up. Oh, so we got a 7.5, a 7. No, 7.5, a 6.5, and a 6. Moving on to the Golden Ghetto Minis. I guess that's how you pronounce it. M-I-N-E-E-S. M-I-N-E-E-S. It's the Minis show. I get nothing off of that. All right, that one was pretty good. I will say that I'm, I'm detecting something about the cookie. The consistency of the cookie seems like a cheaper cookie. Like it's not the consistency, consistency of an Oreo, which I really wasn't expecting, but this would be the one that closely matches an Oreo, nothing. So all things considered, not bad. For a dollar getting 60 cookies, smaller cookies, they don't really leave like a film on your mouth, which some of the cheaper cookies were known to do. Yeah, I'd say they're tasty. I mean, that last one, I'd, I'd, you know, the, the vanilla one, I would give the vanilla with the vanilla, I would give a 5.5, .5 and the, the regular Oreo-ish one, the chocolate with vanilla uh, cream, I would give that one maybe 4.5. That was my least favorite out of all of them, though. But if you have a Dollar Tree near you and you want to buy some minis, I can give you the thumbs up. They're pretty good. They'll get you through the night if you need a sweet treat. We're going to go ahead and take uh, one question from our studio audience real quickly here. Oh, my nipples. This is... My favorite question in this book. I remember this coming up once with a group of friends. Is there something you've been dreaming of doing for a long time? And why haven't you done it? Uh, this probably refers back to my last video. It would be travel. There's nothing more than uh, travel that I want to do at this point in my life. Um, for a long time, I wanted to be a musician or some kind of an artist. And, and I still would love to, to be successful in either of those, you know, uh, arenas. However... Travel is even more important, important to me because those other things can come along with travel. When you're traveling, you can still bring a guitar and play music. You can write a book. You can, you know, there's a lot of things you can still do while traveling. To answer the second half of that question is just a legitimate answer. You know, money, family, you know, we can't just up and leave. I mean, I guess we could sell our house, buy an RV and homeschool the kids. But with five cats and a dog... Five cats, six cats and a dog, four, one, two, five, five cats and a dog. That makes it nearly impossible. So pets and pet family and, fam, you know, children in school, you know, you've only got really the summers to travel. Um, and then you need money to do that. And if you've got a mortgage and a car payment and bills to pay, you just can't do that. Um, there was a point earlier in my life where I had almost uh, moved out to California and it was right around the time that my grandmother got sick and she ended up passing away on my 21st birthday. And um, I just sometimes wonder, like, I, I'm, I wouldn't want to change a thing. However, I have to wonder where I would be and what I'd be doing right now. Would I be, you know, homeless on the streets out in L.A. or would I be super successful? Who knows? That's the thing in life. You just never know. Well... 
I'm going to let you guys go so I can get over to my editing and hopefully have something to show you. You'll at least get to see this, you know, this mug eating a little nitro. So if you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. <laughs>